Hey Grant, it's Dad. So pretty much this is what your bike's gonna look like when you open up the case. Um, there'll be padding on everything. Be very careful when you remove the padding. Don't use any really sharp articles uh, so you don't scratch the paint, but be careful and remove all the padding first. So basically if you look here, you've got your steering wheel and your, or your handlebars and your stem. You've got your fork. You've got your crank. You've got your seat, uh, your seat post here where your seat will go. And then basically down here is where your derailleur is going to be reconnected. I removed the derailleur because sometimes in transit, if it gets compressed, they'll bend that derailleur hanger, that little piece of steel there, and then you have a problem. So uh, I took the derailleur off, and actually that's where we're going to start. So uh, we'll start there in just a few minutes, but here are the basic steps. We'll put the derailleur on. We'll put the seat in. We'll put the pedals on. Those will probably be last. And we'll reattach the uh, handlebars. And then we'll add the wheels. So it's a pretty easy, straightforward maneuver. So uh, right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and uh, reattach the derailleur. So um, here's how we do it. Getting close. So you're going to take a five millimeter um, Allen wrench. You're Are you gonna, sending one? You're going to, and that a lot. This will all be included. You take this part of it, and you put it right over the hanger. What's the hanger? And then you start turning it. Now, see how this st sticks straight back? You don't want it down. You want it sticking straight out. You want it to thread in very easily. Get it good and tight, and you've done it. It's completely finished at that point. So that's the, that's the first step. Okay, so now you've got your derailleur reattached. Um, now, basically, what we're going to do, I'm actually going to go ahead and attach the handlebars now. So you can have an idea. It's very easy, pretty straightforward, and we'll go, we'll start that right now. Here's your stem. You lift the bike up. Now what I've done is this little cap screws out. See this little silver screw comes out. And when it's completely loose, you lift the cap straight off. You're going to have to make sure your cables are two on the left side, one on the right side. You simply slide this on. Very easy. Like that. And you replace the cap with the screw. This is called a, well, simply a cap screw. You take a three millimeter Allen wrench and you tighten it up and get it snug. You don't want it real tight, but you want it snug. And what that does by tightening this cap screw, it cinches up the handlebar to the fork, okay? So at least initially, until you get the wheels uh, on, you just want to tighten this just a little bit so it stays together, okay? And we'll finish that off. On each side. On each side. So there's two screws, one here and one here. This does not have to be tight, it just has to be snug, okay? Now if you look underneath the plastic in the case, if you can look in there, I've got your seat, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to insert this seat in the hole very easy, very easy up to the blue line. And there's no magic with how high it is. You'll probably want to adjust this as you, you know, get, uh, you know, as you get, uh, you know, used to riding the bike. Again, there are two screws here. You want to tighten them each a little bit at a time, one from each side. Okay. What Following. size? It's a, this is a three millimeter. Now you want to be kind of careful with this because 
this is your, your compressing carbon. So you want to get it fairly tight, but not, you know, overly tight so that the, so that it doesn't move at all. You just don't want to crush that carbon, but have it good, good and snug and uh, go from there. So really we're, we're well on our way. You can see that we've got our seat, we've got our uh, handlebars on, we've got our derailleur remounted. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the putting the wheels on, which is probably the easiest thing out of the whole process. So you remove this wait, wait, wait. rubber band. You can see the rubber band around the popsicle stick and it pops right out. Now at this point you want to be very careful not to touch the brake lever until you have the wheel mounted because you don't want the brake pistons to be compressed until you have the disc in there. What's the brake lever? That's up on the handlebar. So you'll pull your handle your uh, tire, your wheel out of the box. Probably would be good to have the wheel out of the box. And hit pause. Now it says pause. Were we running it the whole time when you were yelling at me? Why don't you go back? Okay, so we're going to put the rear wheel on now. So what I did here, this white thing is a kind of a frame protector. So all you need to do is come over on this side and you'll see, flip up the lever and you want to rotate this. And as you rotate it, you want to hold this gray item, this gray item here, the, it's just a nut, and basically rotate it until it's loose, and then look, it'll pop right out. It'll slide right out of these grooves. Okay, now, just like we did with the front, we're gonna remove the popsicle stick that was a spacer for the brake. And here's, it's a little tricky, but it should not be that difficult to, you want to make sure that your chain, whoops, here's the key. You want to move that, move that derailleur, or the uh, derailleur all the way down. I'm going to do that again just so you see. Diane, show him the, so I'm going to shift it here. from the lever. And that's going to bring the derailleur all the way down still till it stops clicking. Now watch one more time. It's going to be up there. You want it all the way down. And basically, you want this on the smallest cog. You push this out like so. Put it on the smallest cog. Put the chain on the smallest cog and feed it directly oopsie doodle up. easy for me to say feed it directly up and you can see the the disc goes right into the caliper and you're good to go now what's important so i think from the simple standpoint you see that i didn't put the skewer in there okay so I've got it mounted up into the dropouts. I pulled it up there. Where was the, the skewer? skewer? Will be in uh, either the wheel box or or it'll be in the uh, the bike box. But basically, you put the lever side on the brake side. You feed it through the axle. Now keep in mind there are little springs on each side, and the little end of the spring faces the wheel. So you put it in the, through the axle, just like so. You'll see it come out the other side, over here. And you basically just thread it on. Over here, again. Thread it over here. Keep threading until it gets tight enough and then you can look, you just tighten it up like that and done. So you can see how the axe, uh, again, the disc 
rolls through the caliper. You're good to go there. You may have to put your uh, chain on your front chain ring. Very easy to do. And really, you're pretty much done at that point. Okay? What about the pedals? So, the pedals are basically very simple. Um, I'm not sure if these are marked, but be advised that there's a right and a left pedal. And I'll actually mark it right or left. And the right one, or the left one, this is the right one. The right one goes on screws, it tightens clockwise, it tightens clockwise, and then you'll take your pedal wrench that's going to be included in the package, and you tighten it from the back side, okay? And you simply take this and tighten it like so, that's it, it doesn't have to be terribly tight, and then you do the same thing on the other side. But, where this one tightened clockwise, the left one tightens clockwise, excuse me, the right one tightens clockwise, the left one tightens counterclockwise. Come on. I take that, yes, counterclockwise. Uh, yeah, actually that's they, counter. That is counterclockwise, right? So the right one goes on clockwise, the left one goes on counterclockwise. And then again, you take it from the back, just get it good and snug, it doesn't have to be terribly tight. And really, right now, everything is done. Remember though, on the, on the steering, I said we're just basically going to set it up, uh, you, know, you know, generally. Now we're going to kind of fine tune it. I loosen these up just a little bit. Okay, and then I line up the stem with the tire, and it's actually pretty close. I want to make sure that there's no, when I put on the front brake, that there's no rocking in the fork itself. You might want to just snug that just a little bit. And then tighten this down. And again, it doesn't have to be terribly tight. It has to be snug. Okay, do the first one. Do the second one, and we're good. And your bike is done. It's completely assembled. So there it is. Your brakes work. They'll shift gears. You're ready to rock and roll.